Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we will take a look at a plug-in tire inflator air compressor for cars, and this is the Astro AI portable air compressor. I know what's popular right now are the rechargeable battery powered ones. Remember though that you'll be using this mostly only a handful of times in a year and it will most likely stowed somewhere in the back of your car. With a battery powered one, you have to keep up and at least check the charge and the charge if needed every three months or so because you don't want to be in a situation that when you need it and it ran out of battery. Also, you can always bring the things that you need to air up near the car like inflatables and bike tires or your basketball. So plug-in wired air compressors are always better than battery powered ones. Inside the box we have the tire inflator itself plastic built but quality is pretty decent and has some weight to it we have the lcd display and memory minus and plus buttons we have the air tube here with a brass fitting and we have the 10 foot power cable that connects to your car's 12 volt outlet which is your cigarette lighter plug and this extension hose with a quick tire connector and we can just connect these two hoses together I'm not sure why it needs to be separate because you do need to have this locking connector anyways. What else do we have? We have the user manual and we have an accessory bag which we have the two nozzles for the inflatables. I like that the fittings are brass. We have a needle adapter for your balls and we have a spare fuse and we have a Schrader valve adapter. By the way, this inflator also has a flashlight. As for the buttons, we have the on and off switch here for the compressor and also for the flashlight. Time to inflate some tires. First, let's plug it in. All right, so what we have here, we have a really flat tire. And we're gonna use this Astro AI and see if we're gonna be able to pump this up. Uh, let me check first. What is our PSI level on this car? And this is my wife's. And it says here, 35 PSI. Right now, we are, I've hooked it up, and it is, currently it's flat, it's 7.5 PSI. So I'm gonna type in, I guess I'm gonna push the plus button right here. So it's 30, we'll go up to 35. Let's turn this on. There you go. It stopped automatically and uh, 35 PSI. Less than 10 minutes. Alright, so just to test out the uh, the little flashlight that it has, so I'm going to turn it on. Not that bright, but it's just enough that you'll be able to see the tires and uh, what you'll be doing. Overall, works pretty good. It was able to pump from almost flat to 35 PSI within 10 minutes. And I like that you can set it to whatever PSI you need and it will automatically stop. It also not as loud as other ones that I have used before. There are some things though that could make this better. A storage area for the accessories and adapters. And also some type of wire management for this 10 foot cable. If they could have added a small area in the design to store the cable and the accessories, this is going to be a great tire inflator. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.